Every year, skiers and snowboarders pray for snow, and those prayers have been answered as it's just dumping the white stuff up here at Brundage Mountain. It's great. Great. Excellent. Best of the no. year. Brundage Mountain has already received two feet of snow this week, and Mother Nature has plans of keeping the snow coming. We're expecting up to three more feet in the next five days and another foot after that. And whenever you start talking about snow accumulation in terms of feet instead of inches, there are a lot of happy people up in ski towns. People pack Brundage for the best ski day of the season so far. It's soft and uh, thick and wonderful and the, the prayers played off. Oh, I like that description. Yeah, Riel. April Whitney told me, it is possible to get too much snow, but this system is spreading out the snow enough that the mountain is operating without any problems. It's just smooth, it's light, it's fluffy, it's amazing. And it gives people a chance to get outside and enjoy something they love. The freedom that it gives you. I think being outdoors and just makes you feel alive, I think. Yeah, yep. slam pow in the trees. Brundage also does avalanche mitigation to protect riders, but because the conditions constantly change, the best thing people can do is be aware for possible closures. If there are areas that we have determined to be patently unsafe, we put a closure on it. So the best thing you can do as a skier or rider is respect those closures. They're there for your safety and be patient with ski patrol. And tomorrow I'll take you to a special avalanche class as Brandage Mountain celebrates Diva Day. Steve Dent, six on your side.